நட்ட நடு ராத்திரியில
all. Today's Bible verse is taken from Matthew chapter 1 verse 20. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 120. In my trust as I cried to the Lord, and he heard me, deliver my soul, O Lord, from a lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given to you? Oh, what shall be done to you, false tongue? Sharp bottles of the barrier with coals of the broom tree. Oh, it's me that I dwell in the south, that I dwell among the tents of Qatar. My soul has dwelt too long, and one who hates peace, I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Song Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Levi, Ticks, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Groot. 1st Samuel, 2nd Samuel, 1st King, 2nd King, 1st Chronicle, 2nd Chronicle, Esra, Negemia, Esther, Job, Sam, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Sama, Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Temptation, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Yovel, Amos, Obdia, Yona, Micah, Nagu, Abagu, Chepania, Aga, Sagatia, Maria, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, First Corinthians, Second Corinthians, Galatians, Abashian, Philippians, Colossae, First Thessalonica, Second Thessalonica, First Timothy, Second Timothy, Titus, Willerman, Hebrew, James, First Peter, Second Peter, First John, Second John, Third John, Jude, Revelation. Thank you.
ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಅವಧಿ ಮಾನುವೇಲಿ ನೋಡಿರುತ್ತಾರೆ ರಾಜ ಅವಧೂದ ಕೋಚು ದೇವನ ಅವಧಿ ಮಾನುವೇಲಿ ನೋಡಿರುತ್ತಾರೆ
Praise the Lord, my name is Adam Manna. Today, I'm going to talk about Christmas. Christmas is the celebration of Jesus Christ. Now, people other than Christians also celebrate Christmas. Kindness and love are what make this celebration more fulfilling than ever. In this occasion, people decorate their homes and churches with Christmas trees and sparkling lights. The most enjoyable folks are the children who wait for this day, special day, throughout the year. Carols like Jingle Bells, Silent Night, Red Nose India are the famous jingle sang on this night. Great enthusiasm and joy. And this day is a declared worldwide holiday. People distribute gifts and carols by dressing up as Santa Claus. 24th December, which is Christmas Eve, when all the Christians generally start their customs and traditions and distribute sweets. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless you all. Thank you. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Blessed New Year. Thank you.
वालों को लज्जित न किया तेरी दया ने मुझे न छोड़ा आसरा करने वालों को लज्जित न किया तेरी दया ने मुझे न छोड़ा खाली हाथ में यहाँ तक आया तूने मुझको दो दल बनाया खाली हाथ में यहाँ तक आया तूने मुझको दो दल बनाया Yeah. 
come to Bethlehem and see Christ is but the angel saying, Come adore on bended knee, Christ the Lord, the newborn King. While our hearts in love we raise Oh, 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 Gloria And exhale his day Oh, 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 Gloria And exhale his day Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the joy of giving and why Christmas is celebrated. When you give something which you treasure to a friend or even an enemy, how do you feel? Quite nice, right? But I must admit that sometimes giving can be challenging. For example, I had a book called Amazing India and I treasured this book. It had beautiful pictures of all our states and the delicious food they ate. It also had juicy information on each and every state. One day, my brother won a competition and I wanted to give him a gift. I looked around and I saw this book. And I thought to myself, maybe I can give this book to him as a gift. I took it off its shelf and I was about to give it to him when I thought again, maybe I shouldn't because it's something I treasure. Eventually, when I did give it to him, he was so happy and that made me happy too. A group of people did an experiment. They had two groups. We'll call them Group A and Group B. They gave the same amount of money to both the groups. They told Group A to buy things for themselves and they told Group B to buy things for others. At the end, of, when the money was over, they asked both the groups which one felt happier. Which group do you think felt happier? Group A of course felt happy with the things which they had gotten for themselves. But Group B felt happier because they shared the joy of others. I am sure you have gifted something to someone. How did you feel? Think about it. Even God gives. Christians believe that on Christmas, God gave his son to save us and to help us. This is why we celebrate Christmas and this is also why we give gifts on Christmas. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah.
message today. During this time of pandemic, many people have suffered, many people have gone poor, many are starving, many are stressed and many are wondering what's going to happen next. Well, I am here to tell you that there is no need to worry because in the Bible it says that God gives us perfect peace and that Jesus is coming very very soon. In Isaiah 26 verse 3 it says there is no need to be stressed for the Lord Jesus Christ is coming very soon. But we do not know when the Lord is coming because in Matthew chapter 24 verse 42 it says that Keep a close eye out, for we do not know when the Lord Jesus Christ is coming, but be on the watch for a sign. And this pandemic is a sign, a sign showing that uh, Jesus is coming very soon and that we must be prepared for his second coming for when he comes to judge the world. And we can be prepared by growing our faith. Faith is the belief in Jesus Christ that He is our Savior and He came from heaven to earth to die for us on the cross for the sins of the entire world and, and that He rose on the third day and is now in, and ascended to heaven and is now preparing a place for all of us and for all His children. And we can grow our faith by using the time we have during the lockdown because because of this pandemic, the the country has started a lockdown and we all are locked up in our houses and we, with nothing to do. So we can use this time to read our Bibles, pray more often and spend time with Jesus. And this is how we can grow our faith. We can also help others grow their faith by sharing the good news to them. We should always remember that Jesus will be coming soon. Not just because it says in the Bible, but because God is also a promise-keeping God who never breaks His promises. Uh, like it says in Psalms 91 verse 6 and 7, Nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. See, this is how the Lord God shows His love, His promise-keeping attitude and protection towards us. No matter what comes our way or no matter what disaster befalls us, it, it will not harm us or strike us or not touch us. Just like this pandemic, it is an, an example of His protection. This pandemic has killed a lot of people worldwide, but we are here in our homes safe under His God. So we should always remember God will keep His promise and that Jesus is coming very soon. So always remember when you're in a situation where you think that you can't get out or you think it's the end or it's over for you, always remember God is there with you and He will never fail you nor forsake you. Merry Christmas. I hope you have a good day and thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Jason and I'm Jessica. Today we'll be singing two songs. The first song is Trust and Obey and the second one is Give Thanks to the Grateful Heart.
are Sushil Frank in grade 7 and I am from Oman. And today we are going to be singing the Christmas carol, Joy to the World. Good Christian men rejoice. Good Christian men rejoice with heart and soul and joy.
Abhishek Kumar I am going to say Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him will I trust he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowlers and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noon day a thousand may fall at thy side a ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the lord who is my refuge the most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling because he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy feet against a stone thou shall tread upon the lion and the adder the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet because he had set his love upon me and therefore i will deliver him i will set him on high because he hath known my name he will call upon me and i will answer him and i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and i will honor him i will satisfy him with long life and show him my salvation Thank you. Angels we have heard on high sweetly singing over the plains and the mountains in reply echoing their joyous strains
Pirandha. 